Many of you know that we have a world-class collection of paintings and sculpture. What you might not know is that we also have a superb collection of textiles, including wonderful examples of European tapestries. This is because they're not always on view, and partly because they can't be. They're fragile, they're light sensitive, and they tend to be extremely large, making it really difficult for us to find good places around the museum to hang them. This spot here, in the fashionable living suite of galleries, is one of four places in the museum where we do regular rotations of European tapestries. The scene of Psyche displaying her treasures to her sisters is one we recently put on view. It illustrates an episode from the popular myth of Psyche and Cupid, where Psyche's two older sisters have come to visit her in Cupid's palace, her new home. It's after design by Francois Boucher, whose name is signed here on the ledge. And it's a really superb example of 18th century French tapestry. It was something that resonated really well in the 18th century because um, it actually is a wonderful illustration of fashionable living where the weavers could really show off their ability to imitate precious materials such as rock crystal or shimmery satins or uh, marble and glass and sky and all these sort of atmospheric effects. The tapestry was supplied by the Beauvais Manufactory, which was the royal manufactory established in Paris. Um, there were many sets made. Um, there were at least 10 sets made. This set was made for the Spanish ambassador to France between 1741 and 46. His coat of arms are displayed at top very prominently, and they help us identify not only who originally owned it, but who commissioned it.